Hello and welcome back on our channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss a situation that I think you might have found yourself in if you're using Business Central. Let's say that a customer is calling you and asking you for exactly the same items or resources or services that you have sold him in the past in a previous order or invoice. Now, the normal approach to this would be to create a new sales order or a new sales invoice, add all the items again, and then go from there. Maybe you can go back and look at the previous invoice and, and copy it from there. Look at that. But there's a quicker and much better way of doing this. There is a functionality in Business Central called copy document. And today we're going to explore that in a first example, which is specifically to copy the information from a posted sales invoice into an order. Now, the process is exactly the same if you're choosing to do it to a sales invoice, but today we're going to use the sales order as an example. So let's jump right into Business Central. All right, here we are. We are on our standard uh, uh, homepage of Business Central. We're going to go and find our sales orders. And we're going to create a new sales order for our customer that has just called us and told us that they want to order more of what they had last time. So here we have, we've, the only thing we've done so far, we've selected the customer that we want to sell uh, something to. Now you would normally uh, proceed and fill in all this information and then start adding items or resources in this section. However, if you look here on the prepare, you will notice that there is a function, an action called copy document. And this is the one we're gonna explore today. So if I click on this, you see that this windows pops up and it's giving us a bunch of options. The first one is the document type. So this is a, telling us what document type we wanna copy the information from. And you see, we have a full list of all different documents we can copy from. Now, today we're gonna to explore the posted sales invoice, but make sure to stick around because in future video, we're gonna cover quite a few of these other documents. And one thing that I wanna point out just for the future, you see here, there's a, a series of document called archive quote, archive order, and so on. We haven't really talked about archive documents yet, but those are also things that will come. So let us know down in the comment, if that's something that you're interested in. We will definitely like to cover that topic as well. But for today, we're gonna to select posted invoice. And then next, obviously we're gonna to have to choose what specific document we wanna copy the information from. Now, if I cl we click on the assist there, uh, we're gonna be presented with the full list of all the documents. But obviously uh, we can, we could copy from a different customer that makes not a lot of sense in this case. So we're gonna just select an, uh, one of the invoices uh, to this customer that we are selling items to. We're gonna filter so that we can see all of the posted invoices to this customer. We can also sort by date. And let's say for the purpose of this example that he's telling us it's the last order that he made, last invoice, the last things that he ordered from us. So we're gonna select that document, click OK. And now very important, down here we have two options. Now one is called include header. And this one here is basically asking us if we wanna copy all the information contained in the header, which is this top part, the general contained here in the sales order. Now in some cases this might be a good thing to do if there's some specific information we want to carry over. In this case, we're going to leave it unchecked. And the second one also important to keep in mind is the recalculate lines. Now, what does this mean? Like obviously prices might have changed since the last order. So if we pull in exactly the same lines as they were on the past uh, last invoice, uh, there could be a discrep discrepancy. However, in most cases, it can always be a good idea to recalculate, but for the purpose of this example, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna bring in exactly the same line, so we're gonna uncheck this one. We're gonna click OK, and here we have it. You see, without doing much of a difference, without doing 
a lot of uh, work, we already have exactly the lines that were on the last invoice with all the same quantities and same uh, information and prices. You will also notice that we have a line called comment that tell us from what invoice we imported those lines. And obviously we can keep working here if we want to add more, if the customer is saying, actually, can you also add something else? We absolutely can. And we can continue here with our process. Uh, so there you have it. Pretty simple, very straightforward and very handy. Like, so don't forget like here, prepare, copy document. And from there, it's possible to go through all the different kinds of options. Now, in the next video, we're going to cover another very useful scenario, which is uh, the opposite of this, or when a customer is calling us and saying that they would like a credit for an order. We'll see that in the next video. So make sure to follow us there. And for now, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Thanks for watching this video from NavSeal. Check out more right here. NavSeal offer assistance and counsel on any existing solution. So if you're in need of assistance, don't hesitate to contact us on NavSeal.com or LinkedIn. Consider leaving a like and subscribe for more tips, news, and guides to anything Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central.